What is up guys, Vincent here, and in this video we are going to be replacing the screen on an iPhone 7 that I have. And uh, the year is 2019, so the iPhone 7 has been out for a while, and now you can buy used, genuine iPhone Apple screens on eBay for, in my case, $22.50, which I have right here. And this one's in really nice condition, and I'm going to be replacing the screen on this because while I was in the process of... Um, changing the battery with a new battery because the old battery was dying out on me um we had a little mix up and <laughs> there's now a crack in it so um this also isn't the genuine apple screen so i've been kind of looking forward to doing this regardless uh so uh, i also taped up the metal bracket screws here and the thing that apple loves using now on their iphones instead of regular phillips are things called tri-wing zero screws and so you do need a special screwdriver and I got this little kit on Amazon that is very nice and nifty with many different uh, screw tips on it so we're going to be using this I do strongly recommend using magnetized uh, bits because these tiny screws are very light and if you lose them good luck finding them so uh, this video should be pretty straightforward. Um, I've already taken out the two screws on the bottom of the phone here. And so now what I'm gonna be doing is just removing this tape here, containing all the screws, and removing this screen. This is my case that I'll be putting on. And then in addition to that, I was lazy and I didn't put in the uh, adhesive for the battery. Uh, that is something that you probably would wanna do. I know they give you, I believe, two separate sizes, but these look identical to me. Um, anyways, so we're going to be moving this screen up and replacing it with this one. And uh, so we're going to see how it goes. So after taking out the two little screws and then removing the bracket, uh, this cable here uh, got pulled up. And this exposes the little connector right here. And so now we have completely detached the old broken screen that I have and now out with the old and with the new used screen that I have right here and uh, this one <laughs> is not cracked so it's uh, pretty nice and so we're just going to do the exact opposite of what I just did plugging in this little bad boy right there and then these two bad boys right there putting on the metal cover number one with these two little screws and then metal cover number two with these other four screws and uh, slapping all this back together but first me needing to remember to put in the uh, adhesive just so that the battery doesn't kind of jiggle around in the phone like that so um, yeah coming along nicely we are almost all back together here I've got the two little screws uh, for the metal cover back on and this display connector and I've got these other two connectors attached now we're going to attach the final a uh, little metal cover and four remaining tri-wing screws uh, and make sure that uh, this phone is looking good. So uh, the other thing I think we can do right now is power on this phone and see if it actually uh, turns on because I really hope it does. <laughs> so just hold this battery. Got the Apple logo here, which is good. <laughs> This is seriously the first time I'm doing it, so <laughs> we'll see if I look like a dumbass. Um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't reveal any uh, personal or compromising information. Do, 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 do. I love waiting. Anyways, um, so this thing looks like it is working. I'm just going to make sure that the touchscreen works once it finally comes back on. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, uh, I'm able to activate Touch ID. Oh. Huh. Alright, well, um, this touch screen is working, so I'm going to put this back together, and then, uh, we'll see how it goes, alright? Hey guys, so I am, like, 95% of the way through this thing, and it's just being a real jerk to uh, go back together and uh, yeah so I don't want to break this screen like I broke uh, that poor soul but um, the trick here is that actually the way it's supposed to work is you put 
the screen down like this at an angle from the top and then you push it down. Um, I kept trying to like put the side in and then uh, like slip it under but this is a pretty rigid screen so the only way to do this is to first like this slip the lip of the new screen underneath the uh, phone because as we can see here on the old screen there's these little um, plastic hooks that are supposed to go and slip under and then the new screen will get placed onto the phone and then you can screw in the two things down here to secure the screen in place so um, this was really tricky and uh, that's the reason why this screen is broken so um, yeah this is definitely a job that you need to be really careful with uh, <laughs> So I hope this is helping, and uh, we also am getting a, a home ID, touch ID button error thing, and I think there are some uh, software resolutions to that. So strictly covering the hardware, this is how you replace the screen on an iPhone 7, and uh, in my case also added in the uh, battery adhesive so that uh, it will stay in place. So hope this helps, and thanks for watching.